Okay, so we woke up this morning and it's really, really rough. Uh, we knew that the weather today was going to pick up, but we didn't quite expect it to pick up as early as it did. So we're headed to a little hidey hole on the main island. Uh, it's pretty rough right now, but and you know, not 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 dangerously rough, but just a little bit uh, bouncy. Um, so hopefully, once we get there, it'll calm down a bit and we can kind of relax for the rest of the day. snacking on the last of our coconut that we uh, husked before. I'm glad we didn't waste any of it. Next time we'll see if we can get two coconuts. Ah! Looking at the shore over here, you can actually see, uh, this is, we're near Blackwood Village, and we can see tons of trees that look like all the leaves have been stripped off them and they're dead. Uh, unfortunately, a hurricane passed through here a while back, and I think we haven't felt wind like this since Hurricane Ida and we've just come so far in being comfortable knowing where to you know where to be and I you know I can't complain <laughs> it wasn't that bad it's a little rocky now and we'll decide by midday if we want to move um, the weather forecast can't seem to agree on which way it'll go so we'll 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 look at the weather ourselves and see instead of the forecasts but yeah, seems like a nice day for some baking and some projects. Turtle comes with 157 gallons of fresh water in its tanks. Um, and we've used about 120 in the last two weeks. So we are going to refill that here while we're in the Bahamas. But um, it costs money to refill it in the Bahamas. And also as we go further out, it might be hard to find places that can do that. So it's better for us to get actually our water maker set up. Since we've had it on the boat, we just haven't installed it yet. So we have the seawater strainer, which basically makes sure that large debris from the ocean doesn't get into the rest of the system. That goes to a lift pump, which basically um, gives a, the initial set of pressure to make sure that what, what's getting to the main pump uh, doesn't have any air gaps in it. Then we have two main strainers, which are basically doing kind of the large debris straining and making sure that the, any tiny things that got past the raw water strainer don't make it into the main pump. Then we have the main pump itself, which is this just massive motor that's going to be pushing uh, this, uh, pushing the, the seawater through with high pressure through the membrane. The membrane then takes that and it splits it into two things. One is going to be kind of the uh, exhaust seawater, which will be more salty than when it came in. And hopefully the other part of that will be fresh water. So there's a couple more things we need to do, but we at least have the major pieces in place. There's also a part that's going to take uh, fresh water from our existing system and kind of flush this on a continual basis using a little timer uh, and that'll make sure that the membrane doesn't uh, kind of get um, I guess the word is uh, you know what's the word I can't think of what the word is <laughs> so basically the membrane can't sit for a long time we use the fresh water flush to make sure that the membrane when we're not using it uh, doesn't get kind of filled with bacteria and other things like that so that's it, we've, we've got these major components in place. Now we've got to kind of put the final touches on it and have it ready to go. So it is Christmas Eve and we have decided to make a little Christmas dinner on the boat. So I had cut up this tiny little ham. Look how tiny it is. And here's the little cloves that are going inside of it. We're gonna do some brown sugar glaze on this, bake this in the oven. We've got some mac and cheese, some roasted potatoes, and some corn. And we are gonna do it up Christmas Eve style here on Turtle. Well, Dave did it again. We have delicious corn and potatoes and mac and cheese. And can I touch this yet? Yes. Yummy ham. 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 <laughs> very, very yummy ham. I wanted to wish everybody Happy holidays from Turtle and its crew. And we hope that you are with people you love and you are eating some good food and you are happy. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. All right, so last night sucked. It was probably our roughest um, anchor we've ever had. We've had rolly anchorages where the boat rolls from side to side, but last night was a rolly front to back um it's yaw i think and pitching 
and it was very very uncomfortable the wind didn't shift as early as they said it would it has shifted now so it's nice and calm now but yeah but we have nowhere we need to go so time for i think a slow relaxing day maybe some naps to catch up on some sleep and if we really feel up for it cleaning the sides of the boat the water maker is almost done we got pretty much to the end well we still have to do electrical but most of it's complete the main issue remaining is that we need to connect the input water from the um the seacock to the strainer and we bought this little guy to do it and of course it's not a boat project unless you need to go back to the marine store somehow so these threads are too small and it took us a while to figure this out because it seemed like it might work but these are too small for the threading inside the strainer so Somewhere in the Bahamas, we've got to find this exact piece with slightly different threads. And we haven't seen any marine store so far, but we are getting into the hub of the Abacos. We'll see if we find it there. Uh, but until then, the uh, water maker project is on hold. It's Christmas Day, and it's time to weigh anchor here at Green Turtle Key. We are going to head over to No Name Key, which is supposed to be a tiny island uh, further south. And apparently there's some pigs that may investigate the boat. So we'll see what that's like. Someone told us that there's actually pretty good food back there in that restaurant. We'll see if it's open. But I think the main goal for today is finding some pigs. <laughs> We're not even done docking the dinghy in. Who is that? That's a little piggy. He disappeared behind the thing. Let's wait for him to come back. Come back, piggy. Ready to go. Right, we'll go find him. Take a sip first. According to the charts, this little area here is a turtle area. We saw two fly away as we started approaching, so we're just going to get in the water, be very still, and see if we can see them. stingray that we saw on our snorkel and overall always nice to snorkel around unknown areas and with the music playing in the background I think what this calls for is something we've been saving for, <laughs> for Christmas for a while which is panettone it's, it's actually bread I think um, it's a big holiday thing that uh, some people do. I don't know if you do, but it's kind of like a fruit cake, but it's actually a bread, so fruit bread. Um, and that we're going to enjoy it with some tea and enjoy some of the music in the background. And then we'll, we'll see where the day takes us. underneath it okay okay it wasn't me yeah that's benettone it's quite yummy actually very soft very fluffy fluffy I think that's a good start do one more piece no, just even no, it up good. that's good one more piece. Okay. Mm. 
All right, I'll save that for next Christmas. Yes, Karen, that's going to be done by the end of the day. By the end of the day. Just went through whale cut, which was the only part of the Abacos really that we need to be on the ocean, and it was it was fine. It was a little bouncy, but we're used to that not by now after doing the entire East Coast. So we are now pulling into Baker's Bay. We're gonna throw down the anchor. We've got some jerk chicken for tonight, which we're super excited about. And we're gonna toss on the anchor here and relax for the night. Okay. Alright, we have we got this magma grill. Ooh, a little warmer, I tested out earlier. <laughs> I got this map. We got this magma grill with Turtle when we bought her, and we've never used her before. We finally got some cylinders, uh, propane cylinders, that'll let us try it out. So here we go. We're gonna fire it up. Almost more impressive is what's behind you, by the way. The purple sky. Yeah. It smells so good, right? Yeah. All right. Got some nice grill marks on everything. Our pork, our jerk pork is done. We got some grilled corn and some grilled peppers. And inside we got some rice. Very much looking forward to our first grilled meal on the boat. All right. We've done our daily project for the day, which was to clean up the scuppers. And now we're headed off a whole 15 minutes south so that we're a little closer to dinging into town. We've heard it's a really great little town, um, small little shops, maybe even a fresh market of vegetables. So let's go check it out for the day. Where's my peppers? Oh, I was horrified that you had not given me peppers. Would I do that to you? Yes. No. So we dropped a little lunch hook over here and we made some more of our jerk pork and grilled vegetables. And Spanana is claiming that I am jipping her of vegetables. <laughs> Would I do that to you? No, dude. That's on the grill. <laughs> so good, though. Mm. All right, get the rice. Let's have lunch. <laughs> oh, it's spicy. <laughs> <coughs> you okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm get the rice. Turtle is locked up. We are gonna head into town, maybe find some place with Wi-Fi, get some provisions, and we've heard of a place called Nippers. We're gonna go see what it's like. can change the world. The world. Good piece of advice. All right. Good beer. 
We had one and then we ran away because we both started to get bit. And one of the reasons we're not in the water today is so that Dave can heal from a ridiculous amount of bites that he has. And we just got bit up again. So uh, not so great, but good beer, good place. Nippers, super fun if you're in uh, Great Guanakee. We're gonna head back to the boat and hide. All right, our third meal on the grill. And I think it's a big success. I'm really happy we kept the grill around. I kept looking at it in the cockpit locker, like, do we need it? Do we, are we really gonna grill? But we're having some yummy, yummy, yummy steak and grilled vegetables <laughs> and what we are lovingly calling the bruffin. So I am trying to make bread. We have made bread in the past in our apartment pretty successfully, but on the boat, um, we have some yeast that might be a little too old. I'm not sure. We're trying it out. So I made just a little bit of dough um, and <laughs> small breads in the muffin pan. So they came out looking like muffins. I think they're going to be a little doughy. Well, let's see the grand reveal because I haven't, we haven't seen it yet. Yeah. The texture is uh, a little too closed, a little too doughy cooked and probably maybe tasty with some cheese, some island cheese, but we're gonna keep trying and get some nice fluffy, fluffy bread and sourdoughs going on this boat very soon. But for now, we enjoy some steak and a beautiful sunset. <laughs> 